leg day. One of the most skipped day in training. It is one of the most hardest muscle group to train mentally and physically. But our legs one of the most toughest muscle group to grow. In this video, I will be diving behind the science to grow legs with my coach. What do you think is the best rep range to grow your legs? Do you think leg is the most hardest part to grow? Trying out new exercises which I have never done in my life. You all should try this bro. That's insane. Someone and by the end of this video, I will not be able to walk. Like literally, I will not be able to walk. Okay, warm up is very important, uh, especially when you do an high volume exercise. Uh, we have to focus on your joint, uh, especially work a little bit on your joint mobility. Meet my coach Arun Kumar, aka the Transformer. I call him the Transformer because he's transformed so many clients, including me. I have been training under him for a year now, and he is also a contest prep coach. This guy has done various certification in the fitness industry and has. 10 years of experience. Okay, without any further ado, let's start this video. And then uh, focus a little bit on your uh, warming up. So you feel like the body is uh, completely prepared for lifting heavy. So then you are ready for exercise. So until that stage, you keep warming up. That's what I suggest actually. My warm up is like five minutes of just five minutes of just hip abduction and everything. I, I just do it max five minutes and then I directly go for a set. This is the first time I've tried so many varieties of uh, warm ups. I usually I'm not a warm up person. I usually don't. I don't warm up at all. I know I know it's a bad thing, but I don't warm up. At all. It's a moderate weight, so you can do it like a warm up system. Don't do it too fast or too slow. A moderate reps, rep range. Okay, so, so how much do you want me to do? Maybe a 2 second down and 2 second up, but at least 15 counts. 15 counts. 15 counts. So what I usually do between my set is I keep walking around to relax myself. I don't just sit there, lie down somewhere and then you think you think walking during your set is better or just lying down there. Ah oh, okay, we always need an active break actually. That's what we suggest during an exercise. But when you do a brutal exercise, brutal leg exercise, it's better to sit and relax. Sit in a relaxed no, catch up. This is this is somewhere. It's not about good leg. It's about growing your leg. So if if I am this will be like my everyday leg day. So would you suggest me on doing this every time I do a leg day? When I did this exercise for the first time, okay, I had soreness for almost four to five days. So what happens is that affects my the next set of uh, leg exercise. So what I'll do is First, in the week beginning, I'll perform this exercise and for the next routine, I'll begin with the super set. Okay. So second session of your leg exercise can be super no, no, I'm saying, now super set, I'm training push pull legs. And push pull legs, there are two leg days basically. So, if you're doing two leg days, would you suggest whatever you have planned for me, would you suggest on doing that? What yes. else would we have to do? So that I suggest same, same, same intensity. Would it not affect the recovery? You are not a beginner. If you are a beginner, I would recommend an intense leg exercise and recover first completely 100% until you can perform like how you have performed before and then go to the next I mean, set of exercises. So now your rep range can be somewhere between 4 to 7, okay, but not below that. So, uh, I'll be keep, I'll be communicating with you. If you wanted to go extra, one or two reps, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. But we'll be, do, we'll be doing the same uh, weight. Yes, for three sets we'll be doing. Okay, I'll tell you how to calculate this. I know your PR is more than this, okay. So, from your PR, we are reducing 50% of the weight and performing four to seven reps. 
Okay. okay, so that will be the first maximum volume will be performed. But good, 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 good set. It's been a while. I'm already feeling my uh, legs pumped. Good set. All of the set. <laughs> you know what? Uh, okay, I just wanted to tell you uh, there is a benefit uh, in uh, doing a high volume training exercise. Okay? It's we force more blood to the muscles. Okay, so now the blood flow is very high in his muscles. So that helps him to that helps him to you know, break the muscle, push more blood to the muscle, and then we tear. We repair, we recover, we grow. So this is what is happening. So Feels good. When we train, it's always good to do a high volume training. Even though it's death, every set I do, I actually enjoy it. I wish uh, I could train like this every day. I thought I was training hard until he showed up. Fine? Fine. You sit first. Let's do a check for okay. All right. I think in this question we can... Uh, three seconds up and three seconds down. So like one, two, three. God damn, seven reps. All right. Easy boy. So it should be... Fine? Don't hold it strong. Okay, it should be very light. It should be light. Should be light. But I think people tell to hold the strong leg. Pull yourself down. No, need, no, need. no? Just push your hip back. Your should hip I pull this back a little bit? Ah, no, that's fine. Okay. okay. Don't take much support of this. Okay. Okay. Forward. Okay. Okay. Only on your legs. We are just doing seven reps. God damn. Yes. Okay. Right, right. Watch me die, boys. It should not be a force. You don't need to. I mean, just don't explode. Just right. take it slow. Okay. Okay. Quartz is the complete uh, anterior part of this thigh muscle. Okay. Okay, so it works completely on this. All, all the way to work. Yes. All right. Oh. This is a leg day I've always been dreaming of, bro. I wish my leg day was all like this. My bro, I really thought I was training hard. I really thought I was training hard until he came. Wow. You all should try this, bro. That's insane. Yeah. Someone has to. This is good, yeah. Someone has to. That's insane. It's way better than lying curls. Uh, dumbbell, since it's a free weight. You have to control it completely. You cannot depend on like machine. You can depend like it won't fall down. So you can just leave it down. But dumbbell, I'm scared, so I have to con control it as much as possible. How many exercises should you perform for quads? How many exercises should you perform for hamstrings? To be frank, actually, I don't go with numbers. Number of exercises. Uh, for
for me it's like uh, for example if you are working on your quads it should work on your complete quads like vastus lateralis or vastus medialis or rectus femoris or wherever it is guys guys uh, he's talking english yeah, so, so my concept is it should work on every part of your muscle so uh, for example uh, uh, if you are working on your glutes so uh, if your workout is on glutes don't concentrate just on the glutes try to understand the basic anatomy where uh, glutes maximus glutes medius whatever it is and try to concentrate on every muscle group so that's my suggestion it can be two exercises even per muscle group but it should be a proper exercise to all the muscles if you're someone who does not feel your hamstring while doing rdls try switching to dumbbell as this will help you feel your hamstrings much much better try picking a weight where you can focus on the eccentric at least for like 3 seconds and make sure you tighten your glutes while coming up this will help you feel your hamstrings much much better If you want the workout split which I am following right now I have put it on my Insta bio make sure to check it out Do you think leg is the most uh, hardest part to grow Yes actually yes the leg is actually uh, difficult to grow because of the muscle density actually it is the muscle is huge actually what uh, comes to your uh, symmetry or when it comes to your genetics your leg will be naturally looking very small So from there you take a high protein meal in consistency you train you do resistance training high volume training and grow your leg little by little it needs it really needs a lot of dedication and patience actually so to grow your uh, leg muscle yeah actually it is hard the one of the strongest point in my body is legs but i think i have grown this not because of training at the gym i feel football has played a major role in this badminton has played a major role in this but i see there are people who actually train hard like they train to the max but their legs are still small like their quads is it because of genetics is it because of like i can see that they train they 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 squat heavy they squat heavy i know people who squat heavy but their quads are still like the density is not there why do you think that is but it is maybe mostly because of nutrition it is very easy to be consistent in uh, exercising actually we can easily push ourselves to gym but it is very hard to maintain a diet routine which is of a moderate protein or high protein meal or whatever it is to maintain that consistency is difficult that's the reason most of them lack in growing their legs actually number one point nutrition i really think nutrition has played a major major role in my body at least my one year of training was complete bullshit there was no good nutrition nutrition i feel uh, i could have gained much much more muscle during my first year but from the second year he was there to guide me so that is why i am slowly improving i'm slowly making changes all right last set best set boys suck it go play vibes if you want to get coached by us make sure to drop a dm at edwin.coaching on instagram and we will train you every 1000th subscriber will get a chance to get trained by us for free for a month so make sure you subscribe and share this to your friends i'm losing my balance in my left leg 3 days back a bench had fallen on my legs and my legs look somewhat like this it uh, yeah that's why so like i'm i'm putting my pressure on this side because no no that's all right i think i didn't want like the already with this like it's all about the mindset guys i'm recording this right now because my coach forgot to give you all one more tip to grow your legs so that one more tip to grow your legs is uh, to like this video guys give this video a like and this will give you extra gains for your legs and if you're someone who does not train legs if you're someone who skips legs then this will help you grow your legs trust me just just give this video a like bro after giving this video a like let me know in the comments if you have seen some gains in your legs
Alright, why did we perform there only two sets? Like until until Bulgarian split squats, we have performed three sets for each exercise. Why two sets only for Bulgarian? Okay. Again, it's not about sets actually. Uh, when you do Bulgarian split, uh, it works on the glutes too. I mean, we have already given a lot of stress to our quads and also on the glutes. Even though we uh, reduced the set range, but we didn't reduce the rep range. So that's what we make a difference. Abductors, adductors, do you think all those uh, exercises will help you grow legs? Uh, yes, okay. It's not only about legs, okay. As I said, uh, it's the complete uh, physique work, it's a complete anatomical work. We don't say it as uh, leg workout, instead we call it as lower body exercise. Okay. So uh, we started with quads exercise and then we jumped to hamstrings exercise. And we, from hamstrings now we are slowly jumping to your glute exercise, the inner thigh exercise. So we try to concentrate on every group of muscles. So that's how uh, when we look on the stage, I mean your symmetry will be proper. Muscle proportion will be distributed equally to every part of your body. Thanks for making it here. If you have enjoyed the video, if you think this has helped you, make sure to share it to your friend and help me grow. We are almost at 1000 subscribers. So please, please help me grow in this channel by sharing it to your friends and asking them to subscribe. Peace.